Aujourd'hui, au bout de ça, on parle de puces qu'on pourra s'implanter. Ce sera quand, ça Certainement dans les dix années à venir. Et d'abord, on va les implanter dans nos vêtements, uh -huh. c'est-à-dire wearables, comme on le dit. Et après, on pourrait s'imaginer qu'on les implante dans nos cerveaux ou dans nos topos. Et à la fin, peut-être il y a une communication directe entre notre cerveau et euh, la, le monde digital. Ce que nous voyons, c'est une sorte de fusion du monde physique, digital et biologique. Aujourd'hui, au bout de ce moment, où tout le monde a un RFID chip implanté dans eux, tout le money est pour être dans ces chips. Right? There'll be no more cash. And this is giving me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. And so, any, so not, instead of having cash, anytime you have money in your, in, your, in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, They can just turn off your chip, and you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what you do, what everything. Shalom. I want to begin this lesson giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Kadash. Yahweh is the true name for the Heavenly Father, who this word ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shah is the true name for our Lord and Savior, who this word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashem is in the name. Erechach Kodash is through the Holy Spirit. The honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. And peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Back here again with another lesson through the Spirit and Power Yahweh Shemal Shah. And Lord, within this lesson is edifying, all right? And as you see from the video that was played before this lesson, You know, um, just to show you, hey, these are the plans of the elite bacon families, okay? The plans to put an RFID microchip inside of uh, <clears throat> inside of the people, you know? And, you know, we always reference um, this source, but when Aaron Russo uh, was doing an interview with um, Alex Jones, and he also revealed... You know, those are the plans for the elite banking families, okay? He also revealed that Nick Rockefeller, which he was a close friend to, you know, revealed unto him that was the that was their big plan, all right, to get everybody chipped, you know? And Lord willing, I'll add, um, uh, Lord willing, I'll add that in this lesson as well, okay? But, you know, Klaus Schwab, Klaus Schwab is the founder of, of the World Economic Forum, you know, and I was like, man, let me look up who this uh, who this individual is, and, you know, he's 85 years old, so imagine that. You have somebody that's 85 years old really on their way out, you know, making decisions for the, you know, the people, okay, but the, hey, this is the plans, you know, with or without uh, Klaus Schwab, hey, this, this is the plans of the elite banking families, man. And their plan is, again, to have an RFID microchip inside of the people, okay? That is the plan of the, uh, you know, uh, the illuminated on this side, okay? The elite banking families, okay? And that fulfills the prophecy in Revelation, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse, okay? This is what they want to fulfill. Now, when you go to... Um, Let's also go to the people's voice, okay? Because there was an article that came out dealing with the World Economic Forum, and it says, World, or it's like your World Economic Forum, young global leader admits global elite's ultimate goal is CBDC under the skin. And this was released July 21st, okay? But... Again, this is just to show you, hey, this is the uh, global elite ultimate goal to have a CBDC, which the acronym means, um, 
what is that central bank digital currency okay so this is what you're seeing things going digital even when you're uh, paying at some stores it, it even tells you we only we uh we don't accept cash anymore okay so it says a world economic forum insider has blown the whistle and admitted the globalist number one goal is to implant CBDCs as a chip under the skin of every man, woman, and child in the world, with or without their consent, and they will stop at nothing to achieve this aim. You see, so they will stop at nothing to achieve this aim. So to achieve this goal, they will stop at nothing, all right? Because they, this is the plan. This is what they want to accomplish. That's why. You know, this is the spirit we've been going into. Let's go to the book of Job. Let's go to the book of Job, chapter 5, verse 12. And it says, he disappointed the devices of the crafty. And that's what Yahweh Bashem is going to do. He's going to disappoint this man, okay? And it says, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. What's their enterprise? A hey, every everybody receiving, okay, that karagma, okay? And we understand this is their main goal. You know, this is why it says, let's go to the book of, let's lock you. This is Psalms chapter 17, verse 13. It says, arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Now, a, <laughs> that's what King David said, a deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. And who is the wicked? Okay, the wicked is Esau, Edom. Mal Malachi chapter 1 verse 4. So it says to disappoint him, cast him down. And that's what the Lord is going to do because in their inward thought, uh, it says that, that in their inward thought, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. You see? So this is their inward thought, that their houses are going to uh, continue forever. And that's why we're praying to Yahweh Bashamah Shah to disappoint him. All right, through the uh, through uh, the spirit and power, Yahweh Shemesh, we understand that hey, they're gonna get taken out the way, but their pride has been uh, uh, lifted up so high that they believe that they're gonna accomplish this thing. And this is why, brothers, you know, and hey, we at seeing that we are in a lot of times, and we have to be circumspect. All right, we gotta pray to Yahweh Shemesh more, and we always gotta be on our watch because hey, this is what's gonna come to pass. Because again, hey, this is prophecy. Okay, and uh, Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, and uh, I'm not gonna go too deep. Okay, into uh, Klaus Schwab and WEF, but you know that was just something that I want to bring out. Okay, let's also get Revelation. Okay, chapter thirteen, verse uh, sixteen, and hey, this is the prophecy. And it says, he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay. Now, when it says he, that he is, again, that's talking about the wicked, you know. And, you know, in reality, uh, it's really the Heavenly Father's uh, karagma. Okay. It's really his mark. All right. But he's using Esau, Edom, okay, to... Uh, fulfill this prophecy all right and it says that that no man might buy or sell that might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number in his name you see so meaning that you're literally going to have this mark you're going to have to have this mark in order to buy in order to sell okay so this is how we know and hey, this is something that's going to be physical. This is not something that's spiritual. And hey, this is something that's literally going to be physical, man. Something that's going to be uh, inside of you. So that's why it's very important to dive into the words and understand the meaning of the words that's being used in these uh, in this scripture. Okay, so that's why we have to go uh, to the to the blue letter. Let's go to Revelation chapter thirteen. In verse 16, again, that word mark, okay, when we go into the Greek, that word mark means, let's play it. Strong's G, 5480, charagma, charagma. Charagma, karagma, okay? And again, meaning the word karagma, 
You know, it's meaning in an, like an incision, something that's going to be inside of you, man. Okay, let's go to that. Okay. Yeah, man, this is something that's going to be implanted inside of you. And a hey, bless for your eyes for they see. Let's get that. And um, what is that? Matthew. Matthew chapter 13. Okay. Matthew chapter 13, verse 16, and it says, But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. You see? So that's why it's very, you know, to be able to understand these scriptures, to be able to understand these prophecies, it's truly a blessing. In order to be able to see, it's truly a blessing. Because as the scriptures say, for many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which ye have seen and have not seen them. Okay? So us being able to, you know, see this prophecy, you know, come to pass. See this prophecy come to fruition. Because hey, this is a major prophecy in these latter times. All right? The prophecy of the MOTB. Okay? Let's go to Revelation. All right, because they, this is going to be a test. All right. Again, this is the heavenly fathers through his only begotten sons. Hey, this is his karama. This is his test. All right. Revelation chapter three, verse 10. And it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Right. So a hey, the hour of temptation, the hour of temptation is going to be when this uh, man, OK, makes it to where hey, you have to make a decision. The decision being, are you going to uh, stand with the Lord or are you going to, you know, bend the knee? All right. Are you going to bow the knee to the image of Baal? Like I was written in Romans, uh, Romans, the 11th chapter. OK, because again, if we read this, it says, let's read it again. This is from the people's voice. And it says the World Economic Forum insider has blown the whistle and admitted the globalist number one goal is to implant CD, CBDCs as a, as a chip under the skin of every man, woman, and child in the world with or without their consent. So this is something that, 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 that they're going to that they're gonna make the priority to do. It says with or without consent, okay? So meaning that hey, when this thing is uh, mandatory, you know, where it's going to be a time where hey, you're going to have to you, you're going to have to have this in order to go to the grocery store. You even have scenarios now where Amazon One has Palm Pay, man. Okay. Whole Foods has Palm Pay, meaning you could pay with your hand, you know. <laughs> in order to fly at these airports, you're going to have to uh, use your palm, man. Everything is going to be digital, man. That's the time that we're coming into, man. And we're already in that time, man. OK, there's something called gradualism and, and we're in the, the period or process of gradualism. OK, even with the first pandemic and the first pestilence of a CO19, you know, where they uh, made the, you know, the, the, you know, the jump shot. OK, the 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 VA, the VA, uh, you know, that thing, there was points in times where if you didn't have, you know, your paperwork. Hey, you couldn't go to work. If you didn't have your paperwork, you couldn't go into certain establishments, man. Okay, you're going to have certain individuals that's not going to be okay with this, man. All right, you're going to have a lot of the American people that's not going to be okay with this. And there's going to be up war, man, which is going to lead to, you know, up uh, a, a time of uprising, a time of, a time of anarchy. Okay, this is the time that we're in, man, you know. This is the time that we are in for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows, man. So we're, we're literally seeing, all right, we're literally watch it play out the end and the downfall of this man's kingdom. OK, reason being is because, like it says, Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Our Lord, Yahweh Shah is a he's on his way back on this planet Earth. OK. So, again. 
when you go back to Revelation chapter 3, verse 10, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You see? So it says, hey, which shall come upon all the world, man. So this is not just going to be in Babylon. The global, again, the um, what was the title? It says, uh, the global elite's ultimate goal is CBDCs under the skin. This is their ultimate goal. This is their ultimate plan to have them, CD, them CBDCs under the skin. So, okay, it's going to be a test. That's why it says, behold, I come quickly. Hold thy fast, which thou hast that no man take thy crown because, hey, you know, we have, we came under, you know, this, this system to where basically when you compare this place to a, a second or third world country, hey, this is one of the better, you know, this is one of the better countries where you have running water, you know, you have um, plumbing, okay, you have food everywhere, you know, you could go to the grocery store, you can go to the uh, mall, you can go downtown and walk around and you have police and, okay, but um, that's why when that MOTB is mandatory, when that RFID microchip is mandatory, all right, a lot of things are going to be taken away. You ain't going to, you're not going to be able to just uh, go to your job, okay? You're not going to be able to buy gas. You're not going to be able to pay your rent. That's why it says, ye shall be pilgrims upon the earth. Let's get that in the book of 2nd Ezra. All right, bear with me one second. 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 40. It says, O my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. Okay, make you ready to thy battle. And this is not talking about carnally. This is really speaking about spiritually, man. All right, preparing your mind for, again, the times that we're coming into. Okay, and it says, and... And in those evils, right, evils meaning bad times, be as pilgrims upon the earth and the elect are going to be pilgrims upon the earth because you will not be able to participate in society unless you have one of those chips inside of you, man. All right. Um, let's see, man. There was another one that, that stated that same thing, that in order to participate in society, you would have to have one of those karagmas inside of you, okay? And it says, um, going back to the article, it says, according to Professor Richard Warner, the globalist elites have been carefully planning this attack on humanity for decades, and they are now preparing to drop a cluster of uh, munition in the heart of, of society, so like in the hearts of civil society to soften up the people so they will accept the chip, right? This is going to come at a time of convenience, man. OK, this is what, you know, they also call the, the you know, the reset, the great reset. So, you know, the chip is going to come out in the time where, quote unquote, the people are going to need it. OK, so it's and, and, and a the apostles and elders of Great Millstone have been going into this information for decades, man, decades. All right. And we're seeing it play out in this time. So this is a, a what a time to be alive, man. What a time to be alive to see. The downfall of this place to see a hey, the prophecies come to pass, man. That's why it says in the book of Habakkuk or Habakkuk, the second chapter says, "A hey, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry." And that's speaking about these prophecies, man. These prophecies are coming to pass, man. That's why it's very important that we pray to Yahweh Bashemal Shah, speaking to myself first the foremost, and we pray. We're watching, all right, and we're staying in these scriptures, man. All right, we're staying in these scriptures, staying spiritual, all right, and a hey, Lord willing, Yahweh Shemal Shah have mercy upon us in these latter times, man, because they were in those times, all right, not we're about to head in the, into the, no, we're in them times now, so, and hey, we got to stay spiritual, okay, you know, and we have to be watching, that's what Yahweh Shah said, you know, watch, that's what he told his disciples, was turned apostles, so, you know, um, you know, I think that's it. You know, so a hey, Lord willing, let's was that a fine to the next time, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, or Kakudash, Devon is the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, ever well. Peace and bless unto the elect. Till next time, Shalom and Ababa Ba.